they always had this cosmology. If you go back to the old kingdoms in Kemet, what you will find is that they had the beehive cosmology. All right, the hive is the sanctuary. All right, life cannot go on without the queen bee. The queen bee is representative of the hive, okay? That's Mother Earth. That's the matriarch cosmology. Understand that when you look at a beehive, that's a matriarch system, and that's what we're supposed to be living in on this Earth. Earth is the queen bee. We're the bees or the beings. That's why our ancient comedic ancestors in the old kingdoms had the beehive. It went until the Hyksos came and the Sum Sumerians came and gave us the heliocentric globe model. We got to get back to the matriarch system. We got to get back to that beautiful beehive in our minds. When we see the earth that way, we will realize that the reason we treat the sanctuary is better than the earth is because we forgot that the earth was the sanctuary.
uh, I really want to give you guys a salute for thinking outside of the norm. It's so easy to accept what we've been given and just go with that. So I do want to salute y'all because we're going against the grain and we're challenging the status quo. Okay, we're not accepting anything easily. So I salute you guys for that. But take away from this video what I told you that we have to get back to that honeybee mentality that our ancient ancestors had. Our government is not going to tell us the truth. It's going to be up to you to do the research. Now, the easy thing to do is just accept what the government say and been given us since we was little. But the noble thing to do, the humble thing and the respectful thing to do is to be honest and true to yourself.